I try to uh, propose to reconsider the heterogeneous complex of um, remixing practices and uh, mashups um, in a social semiotic perspective, uh, design a sort of uh, continuum, um, a sort of taxonomy of different kind of uh, text originated by manipulation. I think that um, creative consumer um, uh, define a, an interesting object uh, for social semiotic analysis because um, we are facing different kinds of manipulation practices and the um, sense manipulation um, is uh, really heterogeneous and um, in my continuum I identified a sort of progression of different categories of text originated by manipulation and for example uh, the basis the first level is about topic scenes and sequences selection and uh, we may we, we can see um, for example on youtube that when a fan um, of the film of, uh, or of a director select and shares um, sequence of a film um, this choice is never arbitrary because sequences are always based on topic elements from a narrative point of view. So um, the eye of the spectator catches the salient element in the movie to share with other audiences. And in, in the progression, we uh, can find topic scenes and um, intertextual comparison of sequences and re-editing of sequences, uh, the so-called impressions when a fan uh, decides to reinterpret uh, the part of an actor um, with a simple camera like this and um, try to um, perform like is cinematographic myth. And uh, kinetic typography, for example, according to Lev Manovich, uh, what Lev Manovich said in 2008, is one of the most interesting recombination practices because um, uh, the fan can, the creative consumer can maintain uh, the audio track of the original movie while uh, completely transforming the visual track. So it's a sort of semiotic um, translation between different languages from audiovisual to verbal. And I, I think that the, the effect is quite stunning.